At first at six, hometown presidential candidate Julian Castro has ended his run for the Oval Office. Well, one local supporter who has spent decades working on political campaigns says it's likely not the last time America will see the, la see the former mayor. Eyewitness News reporter Mariah Medina explains why. My first campaign was in 1952. I grew up as a Republican. At 11 years old, I made hundreds of I like Ike signs. <laughs> <laughs> Madeline Dewar has worked on political campaigns at all levels for more than six decades. My first Democrat was George McGovern. She says it didn't surprise her when presidential candidate Julian Castro announced this morning that his run for the White House that I will suspend my campaign for president was coming to an end. Since his campaign was not likely to go the full, you know, I was disappointed, but uh, Oh gosh, <laughs> you know, I really would like to see him as a VP. I really, really would like to see him as a VP. She thinks it's not a far shot to boot. He stands an excellent chance. But now that Castro has taken himself out of the running, it changes things for those remaining. There are people who are very, very enthusiastic for Julian, who now will start thinking about, well, since I can't have Julian, who do I want? But no matter the candidate, Republican, Democrat, or otherwise, she says people should exercise the right to vote. But it doesn't matter whether it's a, a million votes or one vote, votes matter. And if people don't go out to vote, their voices are not going to be heard. Mariah Medina, Kent's 5 Eyewitness News. Now that Castro has dropped out, there are 14 Democratic candidates left. That includes some of the top runners, such as Joe Biden, Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, and Pete Buttigieg. On the Republican side, there's Joe Walsh, President Donald Trump, and William Weld.